Assalamu alaikum. I'm welcoming you all uh, for those who are planning to go for Hajj. Inshallah, may Allah accept our Hajj, accept this journey of good deeds, an amazing journey. And may He unite us uh, under the shade of Islam. So those who already um, will be going or in process of booking, I would like to let you know that this uh, Nusuk Hajj website is so confusing and uh, based on my experience from yesterday i've been uh, struggling almost over five hours to figure things out so this video is for those just to guide you through um, booking a package is basically uh, is uh, you know is, is the easiest part you can just select uh, after you uh, activate your e-wallet as they just started however the main thing is uh, when you come to the second part, which is like, you know, finishing up the booking or reserving the air ticket. So this is where I face the most uh, issues. Without that, you won't be able to finish the entire process. So I'm going to talk through a few things that will be definitely help, help you and resolve some of the error that I have been getting. I've been struggling almost five hours or more than five hours. Uh, obviously, there are, um, you know, room for improvement. But I hope um, this is not to criticize anyone, just to let you know any new application, you need to go through the testing phase and um, quality improvement and assurance and all that good stuff. So yeah, there, there is definitely room for improvement. As for the application goes, as for the users, I'm here to um, let you know um, how to uh, fix this uh, and, and how to go forward, inshallah. So I'm gonna be talking three or four things so this is the agenda let me see real quick so one of them is the time zone uh, issue that i faced so when you are about to book uh, the <clears throat> the package so you say like you have something you already have chosen into the card and then you would like to proceed the thing that i have faced when i'm booking my uh, schedule or the flight uh, and I, after um, choosing the right flight or whatever the flight that I'm comfortable with or that fits my schedule and money, uh, when you go in proceed and finalize the step, it is going to show you your demographic information with an edit option. And I noticed my date of birth, same uh, as we are going two of us, mine and my wife, are showing one day off. So I was a little surprised. I thought maybe this is a system error or something that I need to probably go ahead and book it. And after the booking, uh, probably I will have to send an email or send a message to the uh, travel agency that is co coordinating the booking. So um, that something, they will fix it. But actually, no, you, it will not let you book it unless uh, you, you go ahead and, uh, um, <clears throat> you know, take care of it right away. So how do you do that? The second thing is... Um, uh, regarding the schedule, if you do not have, um, just remember this, if you do not have um, the timing of the schedule uh, or, or your package timing, basically, say like your hotel check-in uh, was, for example, in my case, was uh, July, um, say, um, I believe is 7th through uh, July say like 21 okay i'm just giving you an example so pay attention to uh, you know before you book or before you go to the configuration section uh, into the uh, package uh, for the hotels so you're gonna it will tell you exactly on the top uh, in a small uh, letter that what are your dates so from 7 to 10 is my uh, medina dates and then from 10 to 21st is my um uh, this is a continuum from uh, from my makkah date so my hajj will be inshallah between uh, this period basically in the makkah period okay so wh what you will need to do pay attention to the entry date and then pay attention to the our, our exit date now these dates are in saudi time zone number one Number two, your visa is going to be issued based on these dates or around in these dates. Number three, the rule of thumb is or, or the rule that they or the Saudi government is imposing 
um, or this app actually I should say imposing that you need to have the flight such a way that you will be entering the port of entry um, from this point you cannot go like you know uh, I don't know what will happen after uh, you may miss your uh, you know uh, attendance or something uh, but you cannot leave before this date or after this date okay so what does that mean um, when you see the schedule of the airline you will be seeing the schedule show that this flight will be reaching plus two uh, date plus uh, plus two date means you the day you leave your country you will be arriving uh, after two days so if i wanted to do for example in my case i wanted to enter on the seventh and i found a flight which is takes one day so you i, I looked for plus one so just the point is you're going to make sure you cannot enter saudi arabia before the july 7th for my myself or before the package uh, a, a start date okay so this is the start date so let's say um, start date and my um, and this is my end date okay this is my end date also so your start date um, have to be uh, you know after on or after this uh, date your arriving date and your exit date has to be within this date now for my case because my um, flight was leaving Jeddah uh, at 3 a.m. So if I go on the 21st uh, at 3 a.m., that is, it's already after midnight, right? So it's it's going to be 22nd, and it will not let you book it, and that's an error. It will, it is not going to tell you that what is the error, what is it you have to do. But there is a warning sign, uh, in a, uh, you know, in a big notice on top of the application, and that is all they have. So I had to struggle this a lot. I have to play with my. Um, schedule such a way that even though it take me one day i was coming into the country by july 7 that cut off uh, time not july 6 so i started my journey on july 6 but i got it on the july 7 fair enough and then you need to pay attention you know as long you are coming out within the uh, end date um, midnight then you are good so if you are you know coming out on the 22nd for you know for myself as like july 21st is my cutoff time ended uh, it will not let you do that so you cannot stay even i don't know why they did it it's most likely so that people are not uh, fall into trap that they booked something and there is no accommodation or something probably that was the reason but i think there was uh, there is some um, you know improvement that can be done they should have given five or six hours uh, um, you know lag time or something because, because you know to go to the airport and to go through the uh, whatever your arrangement so you should probably get some linearity but in this case this is not the case right now number um, one of the other issue that i just remember pop-up blocker so what they are doing they have this application uh, in in one application uh, for the packages number two um, the travel stuff is coming through from another application although you know that looks same but it's coming from another application so they put it uh, inside a frame in the technical world it's a web page inside a web page now for myself if i have a um, restriction on the pop-up or um, restriction on some categories and stuff like that the web page was not showing so you have to make sure you don't have any restriction on your setup no pop-up blocker and all that otherwise it's not going to display the uh, packages so this was a beginning this was right in the beginning when to display the packages i was not able to see because of this popper blocker so i had to go into another machine uh, which didn't have a popper blocker uh, uh, to see the view all the packages so this is very important so keep that in mind if you see that error um you know that is one thing okay now number uh, I want to uh, mention about this number one again. Your dates were messed up. The date was one day off uh, because I was logging in from United States, basically North America. We are, uh, you know, 11 hours behind uh, the Saudi Arabia. 
And nobody, nowhere in the application it says that you need to mention your time zone. I figured out in the in, in a practical way, we have developed so many applications, we see where the user is logging in and um, grab the uh, time zone or ask the time zone what time zone you want to work with and that is automatically figured out. But in this case, the application was developed in Saudi time, time zone. So I had a very hard time. My date of birth was one day off. And then when I was going to book the flight and it was not working and nobody was telling me that I need to change my time zone. And it was a weird error I was getting. Um, uh, I can't remember right now. Uh, but, but, but anyway, this is uh, one thing that you must do. Uh, if I remember, I will tell you the error. So how do you change your time zone? So very simple. You go to settings. Uh, for example, right now in my uh, laptop, uh, I have changed the time zone. It's 7.05 uh, uh, p.m. Uh, in Saudi Arabia. You, you need to make sure whether you, are is in a, um, you, whether you are using a Windows or using a, um, a Mac or Unix or whatever. Whatever the laptop you are coming from, make sure the local time zone set up as Saudi time zone. So in my case, let me show you. Um, how did I do that? Go to settings. And in the settings, either you can search for time zone uh, and it's already recommended date and time. So you, I can do time, um, change date and time. So you click on that. And over here, as you see the time zone, pay attention. You need to choose this one, Kuwait, comma, Riyadh, which is the UTC plus three hours. Otherwise, for example, right now I'm in Texas. okay, And my time is in 10.05 um, a.m. So we need to... Pay attention on this and you need to change this and change, select Kuwait, comma, Riyadh, uh, whatever it is, and then click OK. All right. So this will help you. This will help you to book your flight. Otherwise, this date and time will throw you off and you won't be able to book it. So that's number one. Number two is the pop up. We already talked about that. Um, number three is also very important. OK, make sure. Um, uh, your, I already mentioned the start date and uh, end date. Make sure your uh, flight fall on that end date. Okay. And let's talk about this last one, the no, um, non-supporting schedule. So for, uh, for the custom, most of us have to do a custom um, flight. So when you are done with the... Uh, so it goes like this. So you reserve, reserve the you know, uh, package, okay? And then number two, the second step would be, it, it comes, it, uh, some suggested, it suggests um, some flights. And in basically the suggested flights are from, you know, some weird, for uh, weird airport. For example, for myself, it was from uh, Los Angeles. I, I don't even live in Los Angeles. I don't know why it was showing me Los Angeles and that was the only option. And basically it was about 21,000 Saudi real for two of us. Now, when you don't see that or it doesn't fit you, in most cases it won't, you need to go down, all the way down and select custom flights. So uh, it will give you a warning that you need to pick your date and time, blah, 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 that comes within the um, time frame of your package and that is all you're gonna get which I already explained you about this uh, date issue uh, uh, otherwise uh, you will get uh, some weird error and nobody is gonna tell you that wh what is this error coming from because of what and most of the cases it is because of this scenario the dates now so you click on custom issue and there is only one option that you don't have any multiple choice uh, option that I'm gonna fly from Jeddah and, uh, you know, uh, get into Jeddah, sorry, fly from US, get into Jeddah, um, and then come out from Medina. That option is not there. So what you pay attention to your package, or my suggestion is from personal experience, I'm going to take the pain up front, because after Hajj, I don't, you know, you'll be exhausted, and you'll be tired, you will be looking to go home back. So don't try to do this, uh, um, you know, uh, so uh, is, is get into Jeddah, or you can get into Medina, of course, there's no issue. So whatever, make up your mind and, you know, put it from the city to the destination would be Jeddah. Now, why I say Jeddah? Because you, you have to get out from Jeddah. If you do select Medina, you will have to get out from Medina. They don't give you any option to switch it or go from one to another. Now, 
your package may not support uh, if you get into Jeddah it may not if your package starts from Medina then it may not have the Medina uh, Jeddah to Medina transportation what you're gonna do is you have to either look for the train okay so you have train option or plane option um, don't try to go by car I mean if you don't 